Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm starting a series where I go out into my community and try to find the cheapest meals. I don't care if it's fast food, restaurant, grocery store, food truck, it really doesn't matter to me as long as it's cheap. And throughout this series, I'll be hitting up some national chains as well. So if you live in the US, you can probably find these deals in your area. Where I live, most meals are between 15 and 20 bucks. So cheap is under $10. My goal is to find some good meals that are around five bucks. I even know a place that I can fill up for lunch for less than $2. But first I'm headed to Sprouts because I did some research on Reddit and they've been talking about this $5 sandwich deal that sounds too good to be true. So I thought I would do some online research first and it does look like they are still offering that deal. So I'm going to head over to my local Sprouts in Irvine and see if this deal is any good. And I'm bringing Justin along with me. We thought we would grab some sandwiches and go to the park afterwards. If we can get two sandwiches for 10 bucks, that's going to make for a super cheap picnic. I didn't know about this deal because I don't really shop at Sprouts much, but I did do some more research and it looks like this deal kind of went viral a couple years ago. I think they wanted to get some social media advertising and get people into the store and it sounds like a really good deal. I'm excited to be checking into this. When we asked the guy behind the counter about the meal deal, he said that everything on that list was $5. And they also had a non-meat option if you wanted to use hummus instead of one of the selected meats. And the deal is supposed to be $5 with a bottled water and a bag of chips. However, I think the sandwiches are $4.99 and then you just add a dollar on for the chips and the water. And I think I was supposed to check this box because you're supposed to fill out what kind of sandwich you want, what kind of bread, all of the toppings. And I think it's possible that they might give you a plastic bag to put everything in. There was a lot of info online about how notorious Sprouts is for incorrectly charging on these sandwiches. So you just do have to be careful on that. The girl that did my sandwich was very nice and she did allow me to film her, which I was grateful for so that I could share it with you guys. This first sandwich that she's making is one that I got for my youngest son for him to take to work. He's been expressing an interest in trying to save more money on food. So if he likes a sandwich, I thought this might be a good resource for him as well. So anyway, you get to choose your bread and for the $5 deal that doesn't come with cheese, that would be a dollar extra. And I think you can ask for them to toast your bread. They also sell deluxe sandwiches, which I believe just counts for more meat and also some cheese on there. And I'm assuming that with the meal deal, that's $7.99, but I'm just going for the cheaper version of this. And for mine, I'm just gonna have mine with a whole grain bread. And then I chose hummus for mine and then lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and mayo. And I'm gonna see how I like that. This bread actually looks pretty good. And I'm actually surprised how large these are. I didn't think they would be quite this big. And I don't know if it translates very well on the video, but it's definitely a big sandwich. And I guess these are the Sprouts brand chips that you get to choose from. And I think I'm gonna go with jalapeno for mine. I think Justin got barbecue. And I'm gonna pick up another jalapeno for my younger son. And then you get the bottled water to go with it. They also had a pre-packaged sandwich section that I wanted to check out because I heard they had some great deals on their markdowns. And this sandwich, for example, I was shopping on the 11th and this had a use by date of the 12th. So it wasn't even expired yet and they had already marked it down to $3.49. And that was, uh, I think that was turkey. I also found some ham and I think I found maybe a tuna one, but they had quite a variety of different items that were marked down. I had spotted this chickpea salad online, so I was looking for that, but I couldn't find it. But it looked to be a little bit different than I make my chickpea salad, so I'm going to look for that next time I'm in there. 
but they also had these wraps that were also marked down. Some were $4 and the normal price were $5.99. And they also had these tuna on croissants that I thought looked good. Those were $5.99. They actually had a very nice salad selection. They had quite a few that I wouldn't mind picking up one day, maybe if I was running late and I didn't have time to make my lunch, or even if I just wanted to do something different for one of my lunches one day. This is also great for people that are traveling to know that they can stop in Sprouts and pick up so many different options. We stopped by the park to eat our lunch. There's a little bridge over the roadway that takes you to a lake. And there are actually two lakes near here. They're called North Lake and South Lake. And this might look familiar to you because I do use a shot of this in my outro to my videos. And we're currently on South Lake, which is mostly residential. And both of these lakes have walkways all around the lake, which makes it a perfect place to get some exercise. There is an area at North Lake that has some restaurants, so it can be fun to get something to eat and then walk around the lake. I used to walk my dog Misha here quite often. Usually in the evening when it cools down, there's lots of people walking around this lake with their dogs. Usually people are out picnicking, but I'm quite surprised that there's really nobody here right now. But I am in Southern California and there are lots of things to do. So maybe everyone's at the beach or maybe they're at Disneyland. I don't know. It's actually beautiful out today. It's in the low 80s, but there's this wonderful breeze blowing and it makes it feel much cooler. I am definitely ready for lunch. And because I do have some Orange County viewers, if anyone sees this video and wants to get the sandwiches and maybe do a, you know, a walk around the lake, Sessions West Coast Deli is right on North Lake and they've got some great sandwiches also. They also have a frozen yogurt place right near there. Mm. Oh yeah. That's really good. <laughs> that Italian dressing. That's tasty. And I loved everything about my sandwich. This bread is so good and this hummus is delicious. I need to know what kind of hummus they're using so that I can make that at home. And then I caught my son making a video to share this deal with his friends, so I knew he liked his sandwich. Like a uh, white bread texture, but and it's supposed to be sourdough, but it's still um, still really good. It doesn't have the firmness. Would you have ordered mine next time? Hmm. No, um, maybe actually, yeah, yours, yeah, probably, your, your bread is better. Yeah, I mean, it's got the sourdough taste, I guess, sort of. I liked my sandwich so much that I decided to go back to Sprouts and see if I could purchase the bread and the hummus that they used to make the sandwich. They said that the hummus they used is the Cedars brand and if you'll notice they've used the Mediterranean spelling of hummus with an O instead. I would have thought that they would be using the Sprouts brand but this must be much tastier if it's the one they're using. And then I picked up some bread and look at how big this loaf of bread is. It took up the entire hand cart that I was using, so it gives you a little bit better idea of the scale and size of these sandwiches. I 
I made these sandwiches all week long and I really enjoyed them. For this one, I just used mayonnaise and I was using plant-based mayo and then I used some leaf lettuce that I got from them along with some tomatoes and that was basically it for my sandwich. For this one, I used a little of the Cavender's Greek seasoning and I also added a little pepper and this was so simple. Basically just a mayonnaise and tomato sandwich like we've talked about before, but a little bit of an upgraded version. And I really liked it that besides just discovering a cheap sandwich place, I also discovered that I really like adding some hummus on top of mayo and that combination of mayonnaise and hummus. I, I've never tried that on my sandwiches before and it's something that I love. So if you haven't tried that combination, I definitely recommend it. I tried their hummus raw and it was delicious, but for me, I still think I like Sabra roasted red pepper hummus maybe a little bit better. So if you don't have a Sprouts near you, you can always just pick up that Sabra hummus and make your own sandwiches at home. And you know, sometimes it's just fun to try a new bread. Oh, I also wanted to let you know that when I was doing some research online, I noticed that someone said that Sprouts had some $5 sushi deals on Wednesdays, but that was a while ago and I'm not sure if they're still doing that. I didn't see sushi, but I wasn't really looking for it either. So if anyone knows anything about that, uh, drop it in the comments for us. I'm headed to my next place to grab some lunch for what is probably the best deal I'm ever going to find on a meal. It's just a few minutes down the freeway. And yes, friends, I'm talking about Ikea. If you haven't been to their food court, then you're missing out because they have some amazing deals on food. And I'll admit, Ikea can be overwhelming with how big it is and all of the walking involved, but you can just make a beeline for the food court and you can get in and out super fast. I'm planning to get some hot dogs. They have regular hot dogs for a dollar, plant-based for 95 cents, and then a veggie dog for 90 cents. And then they also had this hot dog combo, two hot dogs for $4 and a drink. So basically, I guess the drink was $2, but I've got some ice water in my car that I always carry around. So I'm just gonna get the hot dogs. They have these kiosks that you use to place your order. And the last time I was here, I got a veggie dog and I got it with some fried onions and they serve it like this with the condiments on the side and then the onions in a separate container. But I noticed that they didn't have that option and I asked them about it and they said that they're currently out of cabbage but they do expect to get some back in. They had some fried onions for an additional 25 cents, but this time I just decided that I'm gonna go with mustard and ketchup. So I got one plant dog and one veggie dog. I've never had their plant dog before and I'm by myself, so I'm not gonna be able to show you the regular hot dogs, but I don't think that they're too exciting other than just a regular hot dog. So I got these and then you have a number that prints out on the receipt and today I was number 36 and then they just call your number when it's ready. Okay, the plant dog is the one on the top and the veggie dog is the one on the bottom. I normally get the veggie dog and I already know that I love it. I'm gonna have a bite of that first, just so I'll have it fresh in my memory so that I can compare it to the plant dog because I've never had one of these before. And you know, this one actually tastes like a regular hot dog. I can't really distinguish it at all from a regular hot dog but I definitely do like the veggie dog better. It just has better flavor 
and I'm thinking it's probably better for you also. It's made from kale, lentils, quinoa, onions, and wheat protein. The plant dog is made from rice protein, onion, and apple, and it did have a distinct smokiness to it that made it taste similar to a regular hot dog. But again, these veggie dogs are my favorite, and you just can't beat this meal for $1.85. They also have another food area that's more like a buffet cafeteria style that's upstairs and they have some excellent deals there as well. They have a $3 meatless Monday. On Tuesdays, they have all hot entrees for $3.99 and then on Friday, they have 50% off all hot adult entrees. So that's definitely something to check out. Maybe next time I'm here, I'll try that out. That's it guys. I hope you like this week's video and that you're excited about this new series. Sometimes it's just fun to get out of the kitchen and especially when you can fit it into a tight budget. Morning has broken, my windows are open. Wanna feel the wind blow through my hair. Which way do I follow? What happens tomorrow? I turn to you and hope you can guide the way.